What's going on, everybody? I just always felt like doing that shit. Hey, I couldn't wait a week. I'm gonna go ahead and post my first chapter to my own self-analysis on what I'm working on. Enjoy the video. Let's talk about anger. Doesn't it just piss you the fuck off? Doesn't it just make you so mad? Ugh! Can't believe they left that dirty ass sock on the floor. Ugh! I can't believe there's traffic out here right now. Ah! I'm late to work again. Does that kind of describe your day a little bit? Does that kind of ring a little bell in your mind? Or is that not you? Or is it never you? That's for you to figure out. But for me, I know that I get angry over some stupid, stupid, stupid things. I waste a lot of my time getting upset. A lot of my day, a lot of this, this blessing, this blessing, okay? This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, shoot, man. Isn't it great to be here? I think sometimes we get so flustered with everyday life that we kind of forget. This was never guaranteed. We live in a society to where we see technology advancing and we, we don't see people dying every single day. We're not exposed to that personally every single day oh that person passed away oh this person's gone in our heads we don't look at it like that we think oh i'm i'm in my 20s i've got you know 10 more years till i'm old or i'm in my 30s I'm, i've got a while to go that time goes by so quick so quick and we're over here getting mad See, when I've analyzed myself, I've looked within and I said, Jonathan, Jonathan, what are you doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? There's something you're doing because your circumstances are not where you wanted to be. You're creating issues every single day. You're late to work. You're angry because you received a bill in the mail. You're angry because there's traffic. You're angry because you're angry. And I'm doing nothing about it. I'm not changing myself. I'm just sitting here in the same spot, yelling about the same shit, arguing with my fiance about the same shit. I'm wasting time. What am I doing to make it better? See, one thing I've noticed with myself, and this may be you as well, I put expectations on every single thing that's going on. I expect when I wake up, there to be no problems. I expect when I wake up, everything to go smooth. I expect when I get in that car, I'm going to make it straight to work in that 30 minute time frame that I have to get there when I know damn well it's a 30 minute drive and I need to stop and get gas and a coffee. I made my choice as soon as I woke up. I said, hey. I'm gonna gamble today. And when I gamble, if it doesn't go my way, I'm gonna be pissed off. How many people do you know go to the casino and don't lose? You might know one or two. Sure, they've got lucky, but the casino's gonna get their ass eventually. Life is a casino. It's all a big gamble. If you look at it in that way, right? Gamble on yourself, bet on yourself, but do everything you can to play that smart move, to do that thing you've always wanted to do. Are you putting all the steps in place? Are you practicing on being better? Are you thinking about your next move? Or are you getting angry at everything? Are your expectations set? To where if somebody doesn't live up to what you expect them to live up to, you're going to get pissed off. 
to where if somebody does something to you, you're going to get pissed off. To where if you do something and you're in the wrong, you're going to look over and get pissed off. That's me. That's what I do. That's why I vandalize myself. So I can say, hey, how can we improve this? What can I do to improve this? That answer is different for everybody. Look within yourself. Those people that are looking at this message. What can you do to improve your anger? Matter of fact, to get uncomfortable, do the opposite of what you would naturally do. If you would naturally get pissed off over something so small that won't matter in five minutes, five minutes, try not getting mad. Look at your mental cues. Look at how you're feeling. Look at that tension in your body. Take a deep breath. Breathe. Breathe. Look within yourself. Now, what are you going to do next? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to blow off what I'm saying because I don't have credentials. He's just some guy practicing good habits. He's just some guy practicing getting better. He ain't rich yet. Notice how I said yet. Yeah. Why would I listen to him? You don't have to. This is for me. And this is for anybody who wants to be helped. This is for anybody that's on this journey with me, that's trying. I'm on day 15, I'm not on day 3,008. I'm not on day 9,246. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't matter what day you're on. Every day is a battle. Every day is a choice. You must be crazy if you think your brain's not gonna try to stop you. You must be crazy if you think you're going to get away with not going back to your old self when you start picking up those bad habits again. But one of my number one things when I self-analyzed self myself was my anger. So let's do this instead. Let's do the opposite of what we would normally do. Let's get uncomfortable a little bit. Let's try being kind. Let's try being passionate. Let's try being understanding. Let's try breathing, relaxing, sending positivity out to this world. There's enough anger out there. There's not a lot of positivity. And I want to be an emblem for that. And I want to be able to change my life so I can change others. Change somebody's life today. Love you guys. Have a great day.